Being a Browns fan is being a diehard, being gritty, being tough, not taking sh from anybody. She's in it now. Ready, ready, ready. Here we go, Brownies, here we go! The Browns are like family. We will always love our team. I mean, we're here. Get it, get it, get it. We embrace them no matter what, whether they're doing great, they're here or they're here. Ooh, ooh. We're just an entire city of sports fans. Tyrod Taylor, he's in, touchdown! Football brings everybody together. It doesn't necessarily have to be about stats or anything like that. Cleveland Browns, only the third teams to finish a season winless. Football infamy. It's not easy being a sports fan in Cleveland, but I am confident that the Browns will bring me a championship sooner than later. Come on, let's bring it on. Let's get this team back together. Being a Browns fan, you're so excited all the time, and then you're like, I'm never doing it again. Not watching the Browns again. And Baker Mayfield gets signed, and you're like, oh, we're going to go to the Super Bowl. You might. I think it might happen. Cleveland sports fans are, are tenacious, and that is the tenacity uh, of, of the Clevelanders. Hard time is what we do. Cleveland is forever proud of being a little rough around the edges. Proud that the people here fight for what they get, work for what they earn, and accept that life isn't always going to come easy. Funeral, yeah. Well, for a long time, football in this town hasn't come easy. The team even vanished on them for a few years. Program! Cleveland Browns Final Audition Program! And since they've been back, there hasn't been a whole lot of winning. With the first pick, the Cleveland Browns selection is quarterback Tim Couch. Brady Quinn. Colt McCoy. Johnny Menzel. Deshaun Kaiser. Go Cleveland. But the Browns are still one of this town's great institutions, alongside another institution that stands tall along the river, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, where every day Lisa and Josie report for work. We all love rock and roll. We all love sports. And there's a couple people uh, on our staff that just go above and beyond. Josie and I became friends with the Rock Hall pretty instantly because of our passion for sports. She would come over to my desk after a game or after a loss, and she would be like, hey, did you see the game last night? And that's how we became kindred, realized we were kindred spirits almost. We're really looking forward to a, a great season. I feel like every summer I have amnesia that I'm like, oh my God, yes, of course I'm back. Of course I'm gonna re-up my season tickets. I'm always positive that it's gonna turn around. The women make their way along a familiar path to the stadium, each with different stories of what brought them here, all connected by this parade that celebrates the ideas and ideals of faith and loyalty as much as anything else. I've been a Browns fan my whole life. My dad used to take us to games at the old Muni Stadium. It was freezing cold. It felt electric, and I just would sit in the seat and drink hot chocolate and watch the players. It was amazing. One of the real reasons that I became a Browns fan was just it's a way to connect with my dad, and it's a good day that I'm doing this today because it's the anniversary of my dad's death, and like Sundays was just like meet the press football. This is my Aunt Audrey. She is my husband's aunt. She's so great. She is like huge Browns fan. I am a season ticket holder. My dad was a season ticket holder. Four girls, season ticket holder. She had that same connection that I do with like her dad and her tickets and going to games ever since she was a kid and this having that memory. Yeah, the 60s. Yeah. On game days, the Browns flag goes up at the hall, and the contagious excitement 
spreads all around. Let's go! Let's go! Here we go, brownies! Here we go! Woo! Woo! The epicenter of all the passion is behind the field's eastern end zone, a group that was born more than 30 years ago. The Dog Pound is one of the most famed groups of superfans in all of sports. The only requirement for membership is wanting to be there. I sent a Dog Pound. I wanted to be that passionate person, that passionate fan. It's a crazy, crazy area to be in. We're definitely screaming the loudest. We're going to the dog pound. This has been my life for like 15 years, living in the dog pound and being positive every year that we're going to come home with a victory. I'll never give up hope. I'm excited every year, but I really feel like something magical is going to happen this season. This season really does just feel different. Go Browns! There is just so much electricity and so much anticipation of what the season's going to bring. And I think that we might go to the Super Bowl. You could definitely be yourself at sporting events. Women walk into the stadium and they're like, well, I'm a Browns fan, you're a Browns fan, so we're basically on the same level. It's one of the best things about being a sports fan. You don't have to look like others might expect you to look. You can make connections with others through just this one powerful link. No. Wait, did you die when Baker got that pass? Yes! I went nuts. And if you love your team enough, no one in the world can stop you from being an alpha dog.